<laughs> hey guys, welcome to the Two Alpacas. I'm Martin. I'm Lara. And we are getting ready to go to the container store. Woohoo! The container Woo! store. All right. Why are we going to the container store? Because containers are fun. She likes organization. If you don't have stuff, you don't have to organize it. Just saying. Uh, if you have very little stuff, you have to still organize it. Nothing. Have nothing. Live a Spartan lifestyle. You don't believe that. Look at your garage. Hey, leave my garage out of this. <laughs> Should we let them in on what we're planning? You did our trip to Mount Everest? No, I'm not planning that. No. Um, not, not, that, not that trip? Guys, you're not going to believe what we're doing. We're getting crazy. We are getting crazy. You know what we're going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to buy an RV and live in it all the time. That's right. Full-time RV. The two alpacas are going tiny. Tiny and mobile. <laughs> Why? Why are we going tiny and mobile? So that we can go anywhere we want to during the weekends and breaks and all that kind of stuff. So you guys already know we love traveling. We love doing travel videos. And this is going to allow us to go more places more often. Yes. So that's going to be awesome. In the process, we're doing lots of different things. And so we're going to let you in on some of that stuff. Uh, we're downsizing a lot. We've already went through the garage a lot. There's still a lot left to still go through. a lot left in the garage. There's so much stuff. Guys, don't get stuff in your house. It's terrible. If you uh, ever decide to clean it out, it's going to be take forever. I've gone through a lot of sentimental stuff, like storage sentimental stuff, and got rid of stuff that I just, there's no reason to keep. And so pro tip, take pictures of your sentimental things. If you're getting rid of them, just take a picture of it. You can go back and look at it anytime. It'll bring up those memories, help you to remember whatever it was. Maybe it's a, uh, an award you got. Maybe it's a, a family picture or, or anything like that. You can take a picture of it, but then, then you don't have the actual item getting in your way. So going today to the container store in Nashville is part of that a little bit. Um, there's things that we can't buy right now for it because we have to know direct or um, exact dimensions and things like that. But there's some things that we know we want and... Um, and there may be some stuff there that we didn't know we wanted. That is true. So I'm sure there will, will be. I'm sure there will be. I hope we don't come back with a back in full of stuff. So a byproduct benefit of moving into an RV is uh, simplifying and reducing clutter and chaos, which I think that's got to be refreshing in and of itself. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that part of it. But I think if you look around, at least for, for me, 95% of the stuff that I have, I don't actually need or use. Very, very little stuff do I actually need and use. On a, you know, on a regular basis. Now, there's some items that you've got to have just in case, you know. So, like tools. I've got to have to have a tool bag and a toolbox, uh, you know, a small one. So, in case I've got to work on the Rover or the RV, so I'm going to have to have those. And there's some things that I enjoy right. that I'm going to have to have. Yeah, like your dog. My dog and my books. And your books. So Not all of them. Right. You just get creative and... And we don't have to get rid of all the books. We can store most of them and, um, and then build, have a, build, place build a library in the in the RV and then um, make those accessible when she's ready to swap some out or go get a different one. Right. We can do that. Have you guys ever heard of the phrase, waiting for the other shoe to drop? Yes, everybody's heard of that because it's a saying. I don't think it's a saying. It is a saying. I think that's something that four people know about. Hey, comment down below if you've heard the saying, waiting for the other shoe to drop. It's a saying. It's like waiting on the other shoe to drop, like you're waiting on something bad to happen. You're like, you, it's inevitable that it's going to happen, so you're waiting on the other shoe to drop. It comes from, like, I think it's the Industrial Revolution. I don't know. I can't remember when, but they built 
these apartment buildings and they were all on top of each other and they were real cheaply made and so um, they had different um, hours that they were working and so someone might be asleep when someone was coming home and they would um, you know drop their boots their work boots off and they were taking them off and it would wake the person up and they would just wait for the other shoe to drop because it would make another loud sound. So that's where the phrase came from. Do you know where you're going? Vaguely. So you don't need directions. I didn't say that. I answered your question. No, you didn't. I did. Yes or no? Do you know where you're going? It's not a yes or no question. Yes, it is. Do you know where you're going? Vaguely, I know about where I'm going. Okay, then you don't need the map. I didn't say that. I answered your question. No, you didn't answer my question. If you know where you're going, you don't need a map. Yeah, we might get lost due to my stubbornness. Yes, because my stubbornness won't pull up the directions until he says he doesn't know where he's going. I will ask the Holy Spirit for guidance. And he'll be like, ask your wife. I'll be the bigger person. Starting route to the container store. Do you have an ibuprofen in here still? I don't know. It's your car, not mine. Got a dope up. I don't need to be slowed down by inflammation. So these you can put things in and put in the fridge so that they can be squished a little bit. Get one? Yep. Penny's toys. How much is it? Eight dollars. Eight bucks. Love it. Got you a drink? Mm -hmm. So we got done with the co container store. So we got a wild hair in us. We decided to go to Camping World to look at RV stuff. We forgot to film. We forgot to film that. And then we went to Target. And we found some stuff at Target that was a direct replacement for the stuff at the container store. Mm -hmm. But cheaper. Yeah. 
plus we found puffy veggies veggie puffs sour cream and onion oh smell good i'll try one or two mm. pretty good those are good and healthy for you are they healthy Mm-hmm. Look what I got. Spicy queso popcorn chips. So those should be pretty good too. And healthy for you. And healthier. So it says. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Security's coming. Security. Because after somebody. A lot of drama going on here. What you doing, Penny? We are back no. with our, our booty. haul. Our booty. We made it back with our booty. With our haul. With our haul from Target and the um, container, container store. store. So, well, some of this is, let's see, I got some note cards. Not so, for the RV. No. Put those out of the way. Post-it notes for work. Gonna have post-it notes. Um, Doritos. Gotta have Doritos. So we got some really cool bowls. So they're just plastic, thin, solid bowls. Um, a set of four. Um, so you can do like prep stuff in here. Or you can use it for salsa. Salsa, yeah. Multi-purpose. Just multi-purpose little, and they're plastic. Plastic, lightweight, don't weigh anything. But they so, look really cool. And we only paid three dollars for all four. Yes. Not really bad. Cool. Thanks, Target. So we need salt and pepper grinders. I like ground pepper on my food, a lot of it. And I like ground salt. She likes ground salt. So this is a lot smaller than the ones we have here at the house, and it's salt and pepper all in one. Now this morning. Mrs. Alpaca over here decided she wanted to go through the puppy dog's toys because she had way more than she ever used. So she had a bunch. So she so we got rid of probably over half of the toys and now we have a place to put them. We needed something soft because we were using this wire we were using container. This, we were using and this it wasn't good. Metal wire thing. She couldn't reach into the bottom. It, it, I mean it's pretty, but yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't very practical. So, so now we have this that can be squished a little bit if we need to squeeze it into a corner or something, but it's soft-sided so she can reach in. Reach down. So we got some at, of these at the container store too. They're a little different. A little different kind. This is like reusable sandwich bags, basically. Um, so um, they got little fishies on them. Cute little fishies. So it's like a, like a reusable Ziploc, if you will, but a big one. So let's see what we got from the container store. Let's see. All right. Night Why Eyes. You show them up there. All right. So these are Night Eyes twisty rubber ties. They are about, a, I don't know, 24 inches long, I think. And you basically, um, they're bendy, bendy ties. And you can wrap cords up with them and hang things and all kinds of uses. So... Also, you need to be able to squeegee off the shower in an RV. Moisture is not your friend in an enclosed space. So, so. we squeegee down the walls, squeegee down, the, 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 the shower curtain is a squeegee in itself, so that's kind of cool. But we get the walls down and it will dry faster and less mold and mildew. And this just sticks up next to the... It just it hooks on the corner. The... Um, the shower head or shower head or the, the cord just the, just the the hose itself or just go around the hose yeah so this oh, I these, love. Are, these are cool the this is really cool so i have to have ice in my yeti cup every day every day she fills up her water yeti cup with I ice and water i've gotten two of these but well if we like it we'll go back to that one yeah there'll be a reason to go back there'll be a reason to go back so this is an ice tray with a lid it's got a silicone lid. So you know when you fill up the ice tray, have you ever done this? And you're walking from the faucet to the, the freezer, and then you try to get it in the drawer. It, yeah, it sloshes everywhere. 
this eliminates that problem and it's got a little little um cavity all the way around the outside so it catches any slossages there so, so this is the um the uh silicon uh storage bag that we got um it's this one from the container store and it's it's made out of silicone not plastic it is can i go ahead and take this you can out take it out i don't care because I think taking it out will show the product better. Oh, there you go. Because it is deep in the bottom and will sit. So like if you were filling it with chili maybe or something like that that you're going like to scoop out. Or, or leftovers of some yeah, sort. Maybe you're going to spaghetti down in there. Yeah, that you're going to scoop out later because it's got a wide mouth. And then you just seal it up. Seal it up. Oh, I got this for my office. It's got these little grippy things that you can put like letters or file folders or pencils or pencils or whatever you want to put down in there. It is a messy mutts. Messy mutts. It is a water and food bowl with a silicone, built-in silicone base. So if Penny eats and drinks, it won't spill everywhere. So that was a good day. Um, we didn't go overboard uh, buying a bunch of stuff that we didn't need, which is a really good thing. Um, every one of these items are useful and will be transplanted into the trailer. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you would. We would really appreciate it. And we uh, appreciate your comments down below if you have any ideas for storage uh, items for a travel trailer like that. Or if you like RVing or you have any suggestions for us, we're newbies in this area and we'll take all the suggestions we can get. Peace. Peace. You know what? Good lighting. Good lighting. Good lighting to you too, my lady. Get the lightning and the thunder. Let it go. Like Elsa said? Yes, let it go. Go. Let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. My pitch was off. It's like we had an earthquake. Little things by the counter. Mm -hmm. Never cold. Never super cold. Ah! <laughs>